He's in his little outfit, so he's too cool for school. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I've got a foundation for you today. We're going to review, we're going to demo, we're going to do a full day wear test. That's why I'm bringing you a bare face mo. Hi. <laughs> today we're going to be testing out Shiseido's Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. It claims to be oil free and an SPF 30. And along with that, I have the concealer. This is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. So, come on, let's get started. So, all I have done so far is morning skincare. I am in my mid-30s. I have combination skin. I get oily right about here and everywhere else is normal to dry. So, let me quickly tell you about the foundation and we will get started. So this is a Shiseido First in foundation that refreshes non-stop. Active Force technology synchronizes with skin and helps to resist heat, oil, humidity, and motion. This is 24 hours wear, flawless, weightless comfort, medium buildable coverage. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I think I've shown you the packaging enough. Let's see what she looks like. Ta-da! So we do have a nice frosted bottle. Feels nice and luxe. Does come with a pump. You're getting one fluid ounce or 30 mLs. Retail price is $47. So here is the packaging. It's a nice frosted bottle. And you turn to unlock it that way you can pump because when it's locked it won't pump I like that feature a lot now the concealer is a liquid concealer that diminishes the appearance of imperfections and provides medium to full coverage with up to 24 hours of wear and natural finish I very much like the sound of that and here is what the concealer looks like so here they are I got the shade 420 bronze in the uh, foundation and the shade, oh my goodness, it's tiny, 304 medium in the concealer. They did also release a really cool looking brush, but I already have this brush from them. I forget what this one is called. Not to worry. I will forget some things because I get really excited. <laughs> Anywho, everything will be listed down in the description box, full details and links if you guys want to check any of this stuff out. But I'm, I have this brush and I also have my Juno & Co sponge. It is currently 10.33, currently 10.33 a.m. I'm going to prime as I normally would with my Sicily primer. So I do about a pump of my Sicily primer. I let it sit for a minute or so. So I'm just going to shake up the foundation really, really good. And then you want to twist. And then we'll go ahead and pump. So that is what one pump looks like. That's the consistency of it. Feels nice. Seems lightweight. All right, let's do this. So the primer sat on my skin for about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and quickly color correct. I use the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in the shade tan. Now color correcting is something that I would normally do and I'm going to do that. Now that I'm color corrected, I'm officially ready to go. So on one side of my face, I'll use my Juno & Co sponge, and on the other, I will use the Shiseido brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake. Let's do a pump. I'm going to dot it with my finger. So let's start off with the brush.
So here is what one layer looks like blended out with this brush. I think it gave good coverage. It still looks nice and natural. And it's got a beautiful finish. All right, let's move on to the side with the sponge. I'm going to go ahead and do another pump. And dot that on the face. All right, so this is what the side with the sponge looks like with just one layer. And I am very satisfied with the amount of coverage that I get using that sponge. So sponge side and the brush side. I think both sides look nice. You're just getting a little bit more coverage on the side that I use that sponge. All right, let's see how it builds. All right, so I'm going to take about half of a pump. And I'm going to see how it builds on the side with the brush. All right, so here we are with more builded coverage. I want to say when you're building it up it is nice and forgiving so it doesn't start to look cakey or anything. It still looks nice and natural and you still get a good amount of coverage. So on this side I have my sponge and with these Juno and Co sponges you don't need a lot of product. They don't absorb a lot of product and they give a lot more of coverage. So I think I'll stop there on that side. And then here is the brush side with two layers. All right, so with the concealer, you're getting 0.19 ounces or 5.8 mLs. This retails for $31. Just kind of mixing up the concealer. And that is the type of doe foot she comes with. Let's go in on the brush side. Now on this brush there there is like this rubbery silicone -y bottom that is meant to like mimic your finger. So I'm going to try that with the concealer. I didn't love this the first time I tried it. I don't love this though because at a certain point it starts to leave the little pattern. So I'm just going to finish it up with my finger. Alright, so this is the side with the concealer. I like that color. It's not too brightening, but things look nice and covered. <laughs> On the other side I will use my sponge. I'm just going to turn it around to a more clean side. Personal preference, I do like the way the concealer looks on the side that I used the little sponge with. I feel it just looks more brightened. Not that the other side doesn't, but I don't know, I just like the look of it. So this is what we look like. This is the side with the brush. And that was two layers, so I did build up on the coverage. And this is the side with one layer and my sponge. Now let's see how products work with this foundation. I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury. This is new to me. I really, really like it. This is the Contour Wand in the shade medium, dark. Okay. 
first product seemed to layer over very nicely. Didn't give me any issues. I don't have any blotchiness. I don't have any like missing foundation. It blended in very nicely. I am going to set everything. I'm going to use my normal powder, my La Prairie Skin Caviar Powder. This is what she looks like all set. All right, I'm gonna just quickly finish the rest of my makeup as I normally would. I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford. This is actually a finishing powder I use as like a bronzer contour. So I'm gonna apply that. Let's see how products continue to layer. It's now 11.04. I'm going to get the clock started. I will come back every few hours and check in periodically and kind of share how everything's wearing, how everything's looking, how everything's feeling. I will see you in a few hours. Hello, guys. So I'm back with my first check-in. It has been a few hours. It's currently 2.23 p.m., very nice. And I must say that my skin still is looking very lovely. I love the finish. I love the feel. Let me grab my very unforgiving Simply Human Mirror. In my dry areas, things still look really nice, like on my cheeks. My forehead is my oilier section. Everything still looks really good. Everything is intact. I don't have any separation. I do have a little bit of creasing in the smile line, but that was something to be expected. But it doesn't look awful. So, that is where we're at so far. Alright, I'll see you in a few hours. And we'll do another check and then we'll see how this thing's holding up. But, so far, so good. So, hello. Here we are. It is now 7.13pm. And here is how we are looking. We are nice and dewy and shiny, but it's not so bad. I've had this on since this morning. I haven't touched up and I've been outside and you know. So. All right, let's get a little bit closer. Let me show you how we're looking, how we're marinating over here. And then we'll touch up and we will see. Hello. <laughs> All right, so here is what everything currently looks like on my face before we touch up. So my touch up powder of choice has been for a little while now. My Sicily, this is the Blur Expert Perfecting Powder, this one. Now I just take my fluffy brush Let's touch up. All right, so we've touched up this side of the face, and this side is not touched up. If you're in the market for a new powder, for touching up, for finishing, for just wearing all on its own, this powder does a great job at blurring and just reviving, like, your foundation after you've worn it for hours, your skin... It's just so good. <laughs> so now that we're all touched up and feeling good, 
this is how we're looking. So firstly, let's talk about the packaging really quickly. I do like the packaging. I like that it's that glass. I like that you can lock the pumping mechanism. I think that's a cool little feature. It's a simple thing, but I can appreciate it. So overall, I like the packaging. I like the coverage. I like that I was able to build it up or leave it kind of a true medium to wear on the lighter days. I also like that this didn't have a heavy fragrance. I like that it didn't feel heavy. I like the way that it gave a natural finish to the skin. After wearing it all day, I did get a little bit greasy, but it wasn't a deal breaker because I have a great powder that I like to touch up with and it touched up well. This is me after wearing it all day, touched up once. So first impression after wearing it all day, I did enjoy this foundation very much. I'm gonna continue wearing it. The concealer. Actually, I think the concealer did a great job as well. It didn't leave my under eyes feeling dry or looking crepey. I got good coverage from it, and it worked well. I liked using it with the sponge, and it worked well with my powders. So, yeah, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. If you have any questions for me, comment them down below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today for another foundation video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Are you the cutest boy in town? Huh, Donnie? <laughs> when you swallow, why is it so loud? Huh? Why? Are you a good boy? Oh, I'm that boring, huh? Well, I'm sorry. He's napping on my lap. Let me put him back. He's a